In this video, I'm gonna be testing nine free VPNs that I've downloaded from Play Store, and I'm gonna be comparing them basis of their internet speed that they provide, the connectivity time it takes, if they have advertisements or not, and most importantly, if they are free. Keep watching this video till the end to know who is the clear winner of a VPN which is free and has best connectivity speed. And without wasting any more time, let's directly start the video. If you are new to my channel, however, subscribe. So I went ahead and downloaded all of them on my mobile phone. All these 9 VPNs will be compared in this video. Just to be clear about this, this video is not sponsored at all. So before starting this, let me show you my actual internet speed at this time without any VPN on so that we have a benchmark of comparison. So I'll just go ahead and quickly run away this speed test and let's see how much download speed and the upload speed do we get. So here's the download speed 5.7 Mbps download and 7.22 Mbps upload. So this is the speed of my internet without any VPN running. So let's now quickly close this and come back to the first VPN of this video, which is the VPN proxy master, which is already showing me advertisements. Let me go ahead and close it quickly. All right. And right here, I have a stopwatch to check how much time would it take for it to get connected. So let's see, three, two, one, hit. Okay, so it took around two seconds to get connected. Advertisements are present here as you can see. So it's connected. And now let's see what is the internet speed that it's gonna be offering us. Looking at the upload speed and the download speed, it does surprise me a bit but since this is the first vpn i think we should see a lot more wonders in the video but for the point let's just note this now let's have a look at the second vpn of the list it's called super vpn so quickly gonna launch it and let's see if it has advertise okay it does have advertisements but it's free all right so now vpn is there and i have my stopwatch here let's see how much time it takes for it to get connected three two one go so it took around four seconds for it to get connected so now let's see how much internet speed is this vpn gonna give us quickly opening the speed test and gonna go ahead and run it all right the results are here in front of you so 1.85 mbps download and 6.62 mbps upload now let's see the next vpn on the list and it is none other than turbo vpn so this vpn i have used during my college time so let's see what's gonna happen here and it's asking if you want to use it for free or if you wanna purchase it so i'm just gonna go back go back and you can use free so there is a small advertising banner at the top, but at the bottom, sorry, and I don't think that should matter much. So that I have the stopwatch here and let's see how much time it takes for it to get connected. Okay, so it took around five seconds for it to get connected. Besides, it does show an advertisement pop up, which can be disabled here. All right. So we are connected with the server in Germany. Let's see how much download speed do we get if we use this VPN. And there we have the result. So download speed is 3.44 Mbps and upload is 6.29 Mbps. Now these speeds are also very good. Let me switch back and try to disconnect this one. So you will be seeing another advertisement which is easy to quit. It's not that hard. Go one back and close disconnect. So the next VPN here on the list is VPN Super Unlimited Proxy. So right away from the box, it does give you an advertisement pop up here, which you can go ahead and close. All right. So now that it's closed, time to bring the stopwatch here, reset and we're good to go. Three, two, one. So it took around 2.4 seconds to get connected. Now let's see how much speed does this VPN give us. 
So the results are here and it's 0.27 Mbps and 0.68 Mbps for upload. I think this is the least download and upload speed that we have received so far. So for the next VPN, it's one click VPN. I've heard a lot about this, but let's see what is this about. So this VPN is free, but it did not show me any advertisements, not in the application, neither did it show it in any form of pop-up. It's directly showing me the connect button, which I'm going to be bringing my stopwatch near and seeing how fast is that. Three, two, one, go. So the time it took is 4.8 seconds. And now let's see how much internet speed is this VPN capable of providing. So the download speed maxed out at 2.43 Mbps and the upload speed maxed out at 6.60 Mbps, which is quite good actually considering it's a free VPN. Let me go ahead and turn it off. Best thing about this is that this one click VPN did not show me any advertisements even though this is a free VPN. So the next VPN that we have is Ultimate VPN. I must say that these names like someone has to be more creative in order to name the VPNs like they sound pretty much the same. Alright, so I have no advertisements in front of me which is good. I have the connect button and I have the stopwatch here. So let's see. Three, two, one, go. All right, so it took around 4.9 seconds for it to get connected and it's connected. Now let's see what is the download speed that we are gonna get. All right, so after the test of this internet speed, the download speed maxed at 0.60 mbps and upload speed maxed at 0.28 mbps which is quite low to be frank but again the vpn does not show us any advertisement so far so which is still a positive thing here so for the next vpn we have the thunder vpn all right so no advertisement so far and i have the connect option three two one go Okay, so it did connect very fast. The connection time took around 2.5 seconds. So now let's see what download speed do we get from this. Firing up the speed test. All right, by the end of this test, download speed is 0.49 Mbps, which is quite low, but upload speed is quite high. So if you are doing some work which only requires uploading the documents and you need the VPN, you should use this VPN because the download speed is low but upload speed is fairly high. So the next VPN is Siphon and this is quite popular because I often use this on my laptop. So let's see how much time would it take for it to get connected. Resetting this 3, 2, 1, go. All right, so it does start a timer for 10 seconds by itself. Okay, that's a new one. Off. Okay. So it took quite a long time, like 16 seconds for the VPN to get connected. All right, let's see what download speed do we get. I think so far of all the VPNs that we have tried, Siphon took the maximum connecting time. Let's go ahead and run speed test quick. Alright, so the download speed is pretty low, 0.38 Mbps and the upload is 0.36. So it's kind of constant but it's quite low. So the last VPN is ExpressVPN. Now for people who don't know. ExpressVPN is not really a free VPN, it is paid, but it does give you 7 days of free trial. So if you are using this VPN for a very limited amount of time, maybe something like this should be also fine. So let's see how much download speed do we get here and what's the connecting time, maybe it's not even worth it. 
So I have my stopwatch here and the connection button. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so the connection time took around 3.9. Safe to say four seconds, approx. Now quickly see how much download speed do we get with this VPN. All right, test ended and the results are surprising. Surprisingly enough, the download speed is maximum here. So 9.20 Mbps and upload is 4.92. I think this is one of the top most download and the upload speed that we received so far, which is surprisingly good. Let me disconnect this. It does not give any advertisements here and the server was UK here. But yeah, it has a seven day trial period. Maybe you can make another account and use seven days again. And I do think if I had to use, I would actually do that. It's worth it. So now let's see what the total score is. So all these VPNs you can see on your screen with the download speed, upload speed and connection time and whether they had an advertisement or not. So looking at it, we clearly have a winner here and claps for the winner. So just like any other comparison, this comparison ends here and we have a clear winner, which I'm going to be switching to now forever from my Android phone. Let me know if you are also planning to do the same in the comment section below. If you're new to my channel, click on the subscribe button. And if you have any more queries, questions, ask me in the comment section below. If you want to get behind the scenes and also want to participate in the polls that I usually take, follow me on my Instagram here. And with that said, I think I will catch you guys in the next one.